Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two different kinds of Walden Farm syrups. I have the blueberry. And I have a strawberry. And I ordered these off of Amazon. They were $10 a piece. Um, I got them as a package. I didn't think that was a bad, a bad deal. We have Amazon Prime, so I didn't have to pay for shipping. So it cost me as much as it would have cost in the store. But a lot of you have recommended Walden Farms to me. And Kevin and I, as, as I'm sure you've seen, we have only tried the regular Walden Farm syrup. And I pair these up with the, um, I think they're multigrain Eggo waffles. Uh, they're only 70 calories a piece, uh, um, 140 calories for two. So, and then this is zero calorie. This syrup is, is it has no calories at all. Uh, so. Those are chocolate and caramel. They do, but I have been told not to try those. Were they bad? They're supposed to be bad, yeah. Now, Kevin was not crazy about the regular syrup at all. The pancake syrup. The pancake syrup. He said that he would rather go without having the pancake than use that syrup. So. And after day. But I like it. I mean, for me, it's like it's opened up uh, these breakfast foods, waffles to me, that I could never eat before because I didn't want to use the calories. So, and, and even though it says zero calorie, um, I have been told that if it's four calories or under, they're allowed to say it's zero calorie. So your calories will add up if you consume a lot of this, if you have a lot, but I don't use very much of it anyway. So what I have done is I've opened up uh, each one of these and I poured a little into these cups because for me, I have learned that um, it's better for me to dip it. I like to dip it better than to slather it all over the top because I don't like soggy bread at all. So when I make two of these, by the time I get to the second one, it's soggy. So I would rather make it and cut it up and dip it. So which one do you want to dip first? You know, let's do blueberry. And if I didn't get enough out, then I can put more. Dip it again. I'm gonna dip mine again. And this is exactly how I like to eat it too. It's okay, it's got plain. Now see, I like that a lot. I think that has a really nice blueberry flavor. I get a little bit of blueberry. There's a little bit of a, some acidic, something hits your tongue. That feels like it's a, a chemical or something. I got it with the pancake syrup too, and I'm getting it with that as well. Mm -hmm. It feels like there's a chemical on your tongue, not like a burn or anything like that. Just a, a little bit of an acidic feel to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Well, I like that a lot. Maybe I will, the pancakes do. I will definitely eat one by itself. It's like whole wheat Eggo waffles. They're um. But uh, in Esther C, they said these were really good. She puts peanut butter on hers. I'm sure they're good with peanut butter. <laughs> Anything's good with peanut butter. I, say, I think I'd just get a piece of bread and yeah, the peanut butter on it. Well, she likes to pair these with peanut butter. Crispy. I'm just telling you. Yeah, because they're crispy. Yeah, that's definitely not the flavor I'm getting from that. So these, um, It's not bad. I'm not getting a, a strong blueberry flavor, but but it's it's there. It's just not very strong. Um, in some stores, this is sold separately from the pancake syrup. It is more like in the ice cream uh, toppings. And as you'll see on the the strawberry one there is a picture of ice cream on it so you you can use these for many different things not just for breakfast foods i mean ice cream definitely i do what it is the as far as the flavor goes um the flavor is like right at the beginning mm. right at the beginning you get a, a, a really good punch of flavor yeah and then it kind of goes away really really fast that is good. Do you like that? The strawberry, you can taste more. I love the strawberry. It still has that something on your tongue though. You could, you know how you make those um, strawberry shortcakes? I get the blueberry too, by the you way. You buy the little, um, you buy the mm -hmm. little cakes and you, you, you usually buy the gel. You could use this instead of buying you that could. gel. I would want to, but you could. They're not bad. I did taste, I tried the blueberry again. Mm -hmm. um, I soaked up a little bit more of it that time. 
you can taste the blueberry, but the problem is for me, you taste it right at the beginning. I mean, like for the, literally the first, like four seconds, maybe even three seconds. Right. And then it's, it's gone. I mean, there's no flavor left. Right. It's like there and gone. What's left is this, like I said, it's kind of a, whatever they use as a substitute for sweetener or whatever, you're left with this little bit of an aftertaste flavor that I don't care for. I like the no, original I, flavor. I totally, I totally get that. It's and, that aftertaste that I don't like. And I'm left with, with that as well. But for me, uh, I, it's just worth it. It's it's totally worth it. I, I, to get the flavor of yeah, the no calories. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad, and, and I'm sure the pancake syrup, if I'd tried again and kind of did it like this, mm -hmm. I, I may have felt differently about it. Mm -hmm. I still think it would be, I'd still rather have just regular pancake syrup. I don't know that you would ever appreciate that pancake syrup. No, truly, I because I like thick, syrupy, sweet And it's syrup. it's not. No, it's, it's not. It's by far not. <laughs> well, some people said that theirs got thick. I, I don't have a problem with my being thick at all. Um, Maybe because I keep it in the refrigerator. You're supposed to refrigerate them after opening. I don't know. Somebody said that there sometimes gets thick. Yeah. I haven't had that problem, but um, it's not. Uh, the regular is just not syrupy sweet like full regular yeah. so syrup So you is. miss out on that flavor. But, but these, these are better. I like these. These are much sweeter for a few seconds. I was hoping that, that these would kind of change your mind. About they haven't them. changed my mind. They're better. They're better. So if we were having pancakes, I still would not you buy would these. never go. I wouldn't these. pick these up. No. Okay. Nope. Me, I, I would totally get these. I think um, a lot of you are watching your calories. You're trying to lose weight. Uh, I think these would be perfect for you. It lasts a while. Um, I poured too much in here for just that. Of course, I did just make one waffle, but still, I would probably pour the same amount if I were to make two waffles. You don't use that much, so it's going to last a while. Uh, this is one of those little tips, um, one of those low calorie foods that you could go to if you pair it with those Eggo waffles because mm -hmm. you get two for 140 calories. And this, uh, that is awesome. And somebody else even suggested to me that you could use the spray butter. You could. Because yeah. they have spray butter. And you have the butter flavor too. Yes, you could do that if you wanted to. I haven't uh, had the need to do that yet. But if, if you do want that butter flavor, just know that you could add that as well. Yeah. So um, This is not, I mean, it's not horrible, but it's still not something I would pick. But if you're on a diet um, and you eat pancakes or you want a topping on your ice cream or something like that, you really like that kind of stuff, this would be a good alternative. Me personally, I just don't eat this kind of stuff, so I'm not... I would go to this stuff because I don't eat it. Think about that brand of ice cream that you found that's lower calorie that was so good. It's in the green container, Carms? Yeah. Or Kims or... I don't remember. Kemp's. Kemp's. That's it. Kemp's. It is low calorie to begin with. Is mm -hmm. it because it's yogurt or I something? I have no clue. It's good though. But it is low calorie to begin with and it is awesome ice cream. If you bought that in the vanilla and then topped it with this, it's just good. Yeah. It's going to be good. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. I hope you uh, got some little tips here um, because, you know, these are new to me. So, I just, like I said, this has opened up a new um, new things to me that I can eat that, that I did not think that I could eat before. I had given up eating. Just like way back, I had given up peanut butter until I found PB2. Mm -hmm. I had pretty much given up having waffles and stuff like that completely. Uh, so this has opened up a new little world for me. Yeah. So I really appreciate you all telling me about it. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. I have videos every single day. So thanks for watching.